Hey everyone, when you get older, you typically don't really go out on dates all that often. You know, it does happen, but sometimes divorce happens and, you know, but that doesn't mean that you can't find love. <laughs> now, what's the point of all this mumbo jumbo here that I'm kind of spouting? Well, I recently came across a post on Reddit, um, I know, a woman going absolutely batshit insane over a guy watching a movie because she fell asleep for 15 minutes. It's pretty goofy and it's really wild. So let, let's let's uh, let's take a look at it, I guess. So a bit of background, the calm before the storm, if you will. I, 47 male, met this 48 female in a Facebook singles group. We had matched a few years ago on an app and chatted ex chatted exchange numbers. Don't exactly remember what happened, probably just didn't show much interest or whatever. Fast forward to today, and we strike it up again for mm, the singles group and chat for a while before exchanging numbers. Except today, she's totally into me, to the point of love bombing me, as well as sending me a D pic that was recently sent to her. No idea why she thought that was a good move. Pics of her and her ex when I asked how long she had been single and putting it on thick with talk about sex. Basically, what a slut she's been her whole life saying how she's ready to fuck just one guy every day versus two to three guys every week. Some more talk about banging some guy in a car and then she does and then she dozes off for 15 minutes or so. I had a movie on and and for about 15 minutes I don't text. Convo just kind of stalled and I didn't pick it back up immediately. She asks if I'm okay and I reply. She also filled up my voicemail box. It, in the first message, she said she was going to post the screenshots to the singles group. I immediately blocked her on Facebook as, for some lapse in judgment, added her friend request. Probably because she's pretty hot. Now, it's actually kind of hard to read what this guy's saying here, which is why I was kind of fumbling over my words a lot. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't really know what's going on. I mean, maybe his brain got scrambled by the by the woman here. I couldn't tell you. Either way, it's scrambling my brain, just kind of trying to wrap my head around actually reading this whole story. So gray is the woman and green is the guy here. That's that's the that's the color coordination. That's the color key for this uh, adventure we're about to go on. Before starting this, you may think that these are two like actual children communicating because of how many slang things and whatever the hell else is going on inside one of these two people's brains like i mean they both talk like they're actually just 12 years old and they've never been able to form a complete sentence with each other i don't know what the hell i don't know what the hell that's about but she first starts out by saying i thought we were talking but it's cool go watch your movie i'm done now talk to you later he says and then he replies by saying sorry i didn't mean to make you mad good night with a little uh, kissy emoji and she says i'm not mad but i think we are done here <laughs> and of course to that he's like what what do you mean what do you mean by we're done here because the the guy puts on a movie and then you fall asleep for 15 minutes w what else is he supposed to do just wait patiently like a dog waiting for you to wake up so then he can immediately text you back no like you're you're almost 50 years old. Quit it with this shit. Like, like this is literally some, like, 15-year-old girl shit going through her first relationship with a guy. It's so fucking strange. You stopped talking to me and put in a movie. Kind of self-explained. Like, yeah, no shit. Like, I, I, what else is he supposed to do? Like I just said, is he supposed to just sit there waiting for you to, to be done with your nap? I mean, you could be napping for hours for all he knows. You know what I mean? What is he supposed to do? He's got his own life too, you know. There's no movie to put in. I turned on the TV. You fell asleep earlier, lol. <laughs> you said you turned on a movie. I told you I was coming upstairs to relax in bed. So I still have no idea if these two are actually, like, supposed to be physically together in the same house. Or, like, the woman is at her house and the man is at his house. I don't know, because it's, it's like, she, she should, she's... Jesus Christ, just the pure, like, I don't know, chaos of this whole thing is making my brain all discombobulated. So she says, I told you I was coming upstairs to relax in bed. Like that, that to me sounds like that she is at his house, but she's downstairs 
and he's upstairs, but then now, sh- but, but I don't know if he's also downstairs and then why they'd be texting each other in the first place if, if they were in the same house, unless she was in a different room. Like, it just doesn't compute, you know? It doesn't make any sense. So, I don't know. Anyways, let's continue. There's a movie on the TV. That's what it plays. You texted, I replied. This is actually just an episode of Psychosis. Like, she's she's imagining a situation that didn't happen. Like, I don't know. Maybe she just dreamed something bad, and then she now thinks it's reality, and she's getting all upset. I, I, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. Then this dream woman here comes back and says, Never mind, I can see how this is going to go. I'm done explaining. You're just turn it around on me. Exactly why I said we are done here. He says, I'm too old to play these games. Have a good one. As I think anyone should. That, like, I don't know. Like, they par- they barely know each other. And she's already, like, doing this. <laughs> like, it doesn't make any sense. And then she is, again, trying to, like, pin it on him as if he did something wrong. She says, exactly, grow up, my god. And then he says, you're a whack job, just like remember. (laughs) Like, I don't think I've heard the insult whack job in the last, like, 50 years. Like, I can definitely tell that these people are, like, around the age of 50. But I also am, like, confused because they both text like they're freaking 13. Like, I, I don't know, dude. And then she says, wow, the name calling. You're how old? Single. And now you remember I'm the whack job? Anything else since you messaged me? Funny you go from, you're sorry, I'm upset, to this. What What the fuck are you talking about? What are you on about? <laughs> Name calling? I mean, I like, I mean, yeah, I guess, but like, like being called a whack job isn't a, f- <laughs> like, that's not really a, like a huge insult to most people, I would assume, like, if someone called me a whack job, I'd just probably be more, I I would be more like, you know, wow, that was pretty funny. I haven't heard that for a while. You know, you know, like, I haven't heard that since, like, maybe the Flintstones or something, like, Jesus Christ, or, like, fucking Looney Tunes. Like, I I don't know, I'd probably laugh it off and just think that that was a really funny exchange. (laughs) And then she goes on to say, like, she's just, she's just like, yeah, you're, you're sorry, but then I'm mad at you now. And then you're like, yeah, well, now you're mad. So why? what's going on here? Well, yeah, of course, you just fucking, you just tried to start an argument and actually successfully starting an argument with this fucking dude because he wanted to watch a movie. Like, I, I, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, you, you kind of, you know, you kind of deserve that. And then she keeps, she keeps going on her tirade of, I don't even know what the hell this is, what this would even be called, but psychosis, I guess. I don't know. Psychotic break. Am I calling you names? No. I said, go watch your movie. Yet you're the mature one, not into games. I'm going to post this convo on the singles site. See what other, see what others think all because you disappeared and turned movie on instead. And when I, when I fell asleep, I woke up. I was sorry. What? (laughs) Huh? (laughs) What? (laughs) And then is a picture of um, the actual, she actually did fucking post this dude on the thing with his face and everything. Like, it's like one of these Karens who film themselves doing some like deplorable shit. And then they just, and then they think that they're, they're so delusional that they think they're in the right. Like, I I don't know this, this woman strikes me as one of these women. So, and he says, you're only making yourself look like an ass. You know what? Since we're on Reddit, Actually, you used the wrong your here. What you're actually looking for is you owe fucking ice spell. <laughs> what you're actually looking for is Y O U apostrophe R E, not Y O U R. That is the wrong your actually. Uh, and, and, and in fact, that ruins your whole argument. So you are the one making yourself look like an ass. Excuse me. I tip my fedora to you, my lady. I'm sorry this unhinged caveman here is treating you with such disrespect. Allow my chivalrous personality to shine through, as I, as you can see. I, 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 I'm a, I'm a perfect example of a, of a modern day gentleman. Yet here you are unblocking me to prove my point. You should have left it at good night. 
Never blocked your number, but keep going. No need. You blocked my on Facebook. I wasted enough time. And then he just says, this is gold. Wonder why you didn't post the screenshots. And like, yeah, he's, he's, he's right. This is gold. This is honestly pretty fucking funny. You know, this is hilarious. So then she comes back with the, you know, the, the Robert Frost poem of delusion here and says, I never posted because I decided not to be an ass or stoop to that level you accused me of. I'm not a mean, bitter woman. I'm very loving and caring and actually gave a fuck about you. You decided to drop names in Act 12, lol. I don't tolerate abuse. (laughs) Like, (laughs) alright. Again, it's like the same thing whenever some guy calls him, like, calls himself, like, super chivalrous or super, like, the best guy you'll ever meet or whatever, you know. It's, it's the same thing when a woman does it. I'm a really sweet and caring woman. I've like 10 kids or some shit. Nine times out of 10, they're like the most unhinged, degenerate fucking people you will ever meet. Like stay away from people who claim to be like nice guys or like the best guys you'll ever meet or best girls or whatever. You know, it's just it's bad news. But uh, let's talk about that I don't tolerate abuse line here. So um, abuse is a very serious subject. Obviously, no hot takes there. But what he said was not abusive. This woman is extremely manipulative, and he experienced what is called love bombing. Love bombing is a very real thing that happens all the time. That is when someone will just kind of shower you with compliments, talking about sex all the time and how you're the best person that's ever happened to this one person. So then you develop a super strong connection to that person. And then it just, it it happens all the time. And it's really, really bad. And it's a classic case of manipulation here. And then she constantly is flipping it around on him, saying that he is you know, the abusive partner, he is the abusive person, and all he did was watch a movie and call this woman a whack job, which is the least of what he could have done. (laughs) You you know, he could have been like, oh, fuck you, fuck this, that, fuck that, and you know, everything like that, and like, started actually like, fighting with this girl, but he's just letting her fucking go on her tangent and like, do her thing, so then he can just sit back and watch the shit show on like unroll anyways continuing on uh the guy comes back and says abuse listen to yourself so then she says my exes constantly called me names that was their way to hurt me i grew up with that i never called you anything i repeated what you called me and turned it around then said no i'm not that person so just go you don't need to keep texting me there's no point now not gonna argue And he says, telling someone you're too old for their games is far from abuse. And telling you're you're crazy for trying to play them is far from abuse. He's right. You know, maybe he shouldn't have called her this woman a whack job. Fine. The difference between what she's doing and what he did is night and day. Then she says, keep going. You called me a whack job. That's mental abuse. Name calling. Uncalled for. Which, I mean, I guess she's technically right. No, there's, there's, there's just no, like, I can't even give her the benefit of the doubt because like, it's just, you're just actually crazy. You know, maybe instead of lashing out at some guy, maybe seek the help you deserve, you know, that you need, that you desperately, obviously need. You know what I mean? What game I was playing and said, good night, talk to you later. And he says, stop playing the victim card, which she is absolutely doing. And then she says, in response to the stop playing the victim thing, she says, you had to question me twice. I am the victim. You called me a name. Did I call you a whack job? Did I accuse you of acting that way first time we talked? No. So again, go away. We are done here. I see you for who you are now. I can, period, block you also, period, so call me names, period, blame me, period, act like the victim, period, lol. Go ahead, I'll let you, so you feel better about yourself. Goodbye now. And then he says, do you have Reddit? 
and then she says, no, what is it? That is the climax of the whole texting situation here. Situation is like a weird word, but I mean, I guess it is kind of accurate. But OK, anyways, you know, it's just really, really sad to see that no matter how how old someone gets, sometimes they just they never really grow up and see that the behavior that they're exhibiting is wrong and they shouldn't do this behavior, you know? It's 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 a goofy situation, but it's also equal parts scary and sad. You know, like, the text messages, they're funny to read, but then when you actually start thinking about, like, the actual situation that could have happened from this if this guy decided to pursue a relationship with this woman, you know, it's, it's scary. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think I'm going to stop rambling. Uh, if you did like this video, you can go ahead and give it a like. If you didn't, you can give it a dislike. Any feedback is good feedback. And uh, tell me what you thought about all this in the comments. If you want to show me even more support, you can go ahead and subscribe. It'll be on screen right now. And if you want to watch another video, it'll also be on screen right now. With all that out of the way, fuck you all. And have a good night.